In this video, we're checking out the Chaos and Order Lucky uh, Mythic Drop Even. It, of course, has the Redux of the Odin Divine Smite and the Prophet Arbiter skins in it. They're both really cool skins, and of course, if you're a BR player, then you'd really want the Odin skin. So, yeah, if you do comment and enjoy the video, make sure to, of course, like and subscribe. And if you don't want my Odin night out, then make sure to, of course, stay tuned in for that. And let's get into the video. Today's shout out goes to Indian Battle Lord. They have 785 subscribers at the time of recording this video. And yeah, they do many more pass around latest content, so if you do go over and join their videos, then make sure to of course like the videos you do enjoy and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, of course they're linked down below in the description and up on the screen here. Make sure to go over, be supportive, but they've made support to comments what you enjoyed about their videos. Are you positive about leaving your positive comments on how you enjoy their videos? So yeah, make sure to go over, be positive, be supportive, and let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are in the train mode, and first of all, let's check out, of course, the uh, the J35, uh, you know, J35, the 50GS or Deagle skin that was in it. This is arguably one of the best Deagle skins and could possibly even be a legendary. Why not if they put a death effect on it and a bit more animation, I would say. But overall, yeah, it's a super nice skin. And of course, the Deagle is a gun that, that is a West Hander that, that a lot of people use, so yeah. Overall, six, a 7 out of 10 I'm going to go with, yeah. And here is the Prophet Arbiter skin. Okay, a decent skin, not one I would ever use, but still a very decent skin. I couldn't get a 6 out of 10. Like I said, I would never use it, but it's still very, very nice one, I would say. Yeah, a lot of colour, a lot of detail, really no nice. And of course, finally, we have the, uh, the Mythic Odin. So yeah, as you can see, uh, I'm actually I'll, I'll be one of the best mythics, I would say, uh, especially considering, it, um, especially in battle, because in battle royale, it's uh, the Odin is still mesh, I believe. So yeah, as you can see, the super decent, super decent mythic, and the uh, the iron sight is one of the big standout features here, as it is a super clear one. Of course, you have to be highly accurate with the Odin, because it does have a, uh, yeah. I'm trying to get a, uh, an 8.5 to 9 out of 10 for the actual skin part. And now, of course, with the actual Odin, you have to be uh, super highly accurate with it. Because, uh, of course, it is a slow fire rate, high, high damage gun. It's just like the Man of War, I would say. And um, they're built to talk a bit as well. And, of course, also, we do have a uh, low mag size as well. Although, this doesn't... Normally, it's not normally a problem unless you are super inaccurate. Um, I have lost one more high mobility build, but even so, it's still really, really, um, it's a really decent longer range weapon. 
can't have any more medium stronger to happen. Um, the close range has low mobility, so we'll get beaten, and also that lower fire rate means it will get beaten out by um, most of weapons in this case. Yeah, and the, uh, the death effect isn't too bad as well, it's quite a nice one. I had a lot of fun with this weapon, especially with the higher, the higher mobility uh, build. So yeah. Of course, this melee being a slow paced uh, assault rifle, it would be a... Um, one that you want to kind of set hold angles with and stuff. So yeah, here is the uh, here's a recoil pattern. I didn't see the recoil isn't too bad, but that's made because of the slow fire rates, so makes it a lot easier to control the recoil with. So yeah, and then of course hit fast because it actually isn't the best. So yeah, definitely one that's not worth hit firing. So the damage numbers, we have 48, 57, so it's only hit one up body. Oh, two up body or, or one headshot is a guaranteed two shot. A one up body or one headshot is a guaranteed uh, two shot kill, which makes it, um, Although it's not a highly consistent two-shot kill, it's still very much a rival. I wish it was actually a super, super decent weapon. And of course, it has have it 72. And of course, it does not drop off at the uh, the medium range. And then at the longer ranges. It drops off slightly, but so it's a guaranteed uh, three shot at that one. At that range, it's still still pretty decent, I would say, especially uh, with those long range capabilities. So yeah, definitely more of a medium to long range, uh, slightly slower mobility build, uh, slow mo slightly mo low mobility. It's not really my kind of weapon, but I still have a lot of fun using it. I uh, see so yeah, one that's definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. Um, I yeah. One, uh, yeah, I reckon checking out. So yeah, overall, super, super, super cool, lucky draw. One is highly worth checking out, and the other one's super fun and actually pretty powerful. The most most players like much more else, and one that's highly worth checking out as well. So yeah, overall, super, super fun, guys. Super cool, lucky draw. So now let's get into, of course, the ranked game players.
This is my own no doubt. As you can see, it's an accuracy range control build, so a bit more of a uh, less, so a bit more of a long range one. And just because that is where the Od Odin does shine the most, but it just has a um, slightly increased um, mobility as well, just because of course the I'm a slightly more aggressive, slightly more of an aggressive player, and the Odin doesn't have the best mobility in the game. But yeah, it was two fun uh, gun to use, and this gun to use was really nice. So yeah, we have the tactical suppressor for the science ability. Uh, the OWC marks and bell for the minus 5% ADS bullet thread, plus 35% damage at range, minus 12.7% horizontal recoil, and minus 14% vertical recoil. We have the YKM light stop for the plus 20% ADS movement speed. We have the OWC tack laser for minus 8% ADS time, minus 9.2% ADS bullet spread. And finally, we have the extended mag A for the plus 5 mag capacity. <laughs>